Hey there, YouTube. Today we're looking at scatter plots, which are ideal for viewing many variables. You can see here I've got position X, I've got some values on the Y, I've got the size of these dots changing with some variable, as well as I can do color bars and have color changes for the dots as well. To do this, you need to use the scatter function and provide it X, Y positions, some scale for the size, as well as color. And of course I wanted filled dots, so I have the filled command there. Let's build this up one variable at a time. For starters, let's work with this beginner pared down code. This is essentially just plotting X and Y coordinates, just like the very standard plot function. It's inherently going to have these as hollow points, and we can add the filled command here to fill those dots in. If we want to change the size of these dots, we need to have some scale and some numeric values to represent size, and the relative size is very important. Here I've added in size. Of course, all this data is just purely made up with randomness, but I've got size here as an absolute value of some random numbers. This is from a Gaussian distribution, and I've just been playing around with this and found this to be an ideal sizing factor. We need to then add size as the third argument to scatter. And as we'll begin to see, the dots here on the top right are much larger than the ones in the bottom left. So there's some sort of linear relation here as we go from left to right. If we want to add some color to these dots, we need to add in a color variable. I have this just as a matrix of ones plus the x cubed. And then we have to add color as our fourth argument to scatter. Go ahead and plot this. And it's looking pretty good. However, we don't know what these things mean. We don't know why color is changing and what that means. And we don't know why size is changing. What I like to do is add some text on here. To use the text command, you can simply add a X coordinate and a Y coordinate, and then the text that you want to display. And that'll go ahead and put our text right on the chart at position five comma three and five comma two, as we indicated. The last thing that's very useful is a color bar. I'm going to define bar here. It's an object and it's a color bar object. And then I'm going to change the Y label of that bar object to pressure and set the font size to 12. And then if we go ahead and run this, you can see we get the exact diagram that we started with. Of course, you can go ahead and do file save as to save this figure and use it as you please. If you're looking for a 3D scatter plot, I've got a separate video on that. Go ahead and click the link in the description. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped you and have a great day.